In this video, we're going to be talking about 15 dumb, weird, and unordinary, but smart ways to take your LEGO minifigs and use them in some cool ways. Enough talking, let's go. Here's a really easy trick that you can do to your minifigures, and uh, pretty much it makes them look like a crab. Did you know that you can actually stick minifig hands into the holes of minifig legs? Once you connect both legs, you can actually stick them to the bottom of the torso, and uh, bing bong, you have a very creepy minifig. Do you have any scrap hands lying around? You can actually use it to improve your Lego guns. You can put them on big guns, small guns, they pretty much add just a little extra flavor. It just makes the gun look so cool, like, I feel like I'm John Wick or like, James Bond. This one is super dumb, so dumb that I considered not even putting this in the video, but pretty much you take a bunch of minifigs, take their hats off, and then you can connect them in a circle. I remember doing this a lot as a kid, so maybe I can remind the young ones out there. It's kind of satisfying, you can roll it around and stuff. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually remove the printing on Lego parts from a basic eraser. This is the one that I use for college. Grab a minifig part you don't care about, and just start rubbing it with the eraser. And then after a while, you'll actually see the printing come off, and then you'll have a blank head. Now, why exactly would you want to do this? I'm going to explain right now. Melons. Bruh. Yep, that's right, melons. If you want to make some custom melons, just take a few blank yellow minifig heads with no printing, put some green flowers on top for the stems, and boom, you got a melon garden. Looks absolutely delicious. I mean, come on guys, it's almost spring. Time for those fruit to start growing. Mm, what are the melons I must? If you're building like a clothing store, you can make some mannequins. Again, you can use a blank minifig head, or you can just use a regular head. Just flip it backwards so you can't see the printing, and then cover the printing with some sort of hat or some sort of hairpiece. Similar to mannequins, you can make a stone statue to commemorate a very important person. All you need is a full minifig body in all gray. So gray head, gray hair, gray torso, and then gray pants. To finish it off, you can even add a little stone structure for it to stand on, just to make it look extra important. If you have any blank white heads, you can actually use them to make a baby. Use the white head for the body of the baby, like the little clothing, and then use a regular minifig head for the head of the baby. But please, don't add hair to the baby. You know the cliche, smooth as a baby's head. That's because babies have bald heads, just like Dwayne Johnson. If you have any transparent heads, you can use them to make some lamps. I've got three designs here. The first one is a small bed table lamp that literally uses three parts. This other one is a floor lamp. If you want to get really spicy, here's a street lamp. This is probably my favorite one. You can also use transparent minifig heads for vases. Just take a transparent head, add some flowers on top, and uh, it's a very aesthetically pleasing build. You can even use this as a jar, or you can even use this as like a half shield in Fortnite. A problem that I have with minifigs compared to like action figures is that there's not very many movable parts, like the legs can only move forward or back. But what if you want to do something more than that? Well, here's two cool minifig positions that you can do. This first one is a yoga position, where I just disconnected the legs from the hips. And the second one is a person kneeling down. Here I used two 1x2 slopes to make a skirt for this minifig. It looks more realistic than just having the person sitting down. And it looks very good for the female minifigs. If you want to make a minifig taller, then you can go ahead and just add extra 1x2 bricks between the legs and torsos. You can add 1x1 one one bricks on the feet, or you can just use 1x1 one one cylinder bricks on the head. I would not want to be using the public bathroom when this guy's around, because he'll probably be so tall that he can actually see me over the bathroom stall doors. So, kinda sus. If you made custom guns and you still have more minifig hands laying around, then you can use them as stubby branches on a tree. Super random, makes a really subtle difference, but a very effective one in my opinion. Nothing should go to waste. You might as well put these minifig hands to use. And this has got to be one of my favorite tricks. You can simply take minifig pants and torsos with the arms taken off and hang them up on a clothes rack. So this is cool if you're making like some kind of closet in a house or if you're making like a clothing store. If you think about it, you have minifigs sitting around that have been just wearing the same outfit for years and that's super depressing. So you might as well give them some new clothes to wear. What was your favorite Lego trick in this video? Comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe because I add fresh content to the channel weekly. I have other top 10, top five, Five, top 7, top 15, whatever, other top videos in the card above, so click that. I'll see you in the next video, so stay spicy. Thank you for watching, and keep on building. Woo! Get ready to rock and roll! Like and subscribe!